Hey everyone, and welcome to the virtual Laysan Albatross Bolus Dissection Lab. So, we need to go over some information first. First of all, what is a bolus? A bolus is a regurgitated mass of material that an organism cannot digest. The most common ones that we think of are owl pellets, fur and bones of small rodents that they eat. Well, out many birds, including the albatross, also does this. Um, a little more on the albatross. The albatross, uh, the lace and albatross is an albatross found uh, in the Pacific. It's a smaller species of albatross, typically nests around the Midway Islands, part of the Hawaiian archipelago. So what do they feed on? They fly um, up to maybe 900 kilometers away from their nesting area to find food for themselves and their chicks. And they like to eat uh, squid, flying fish eggs, small fish, crustaceans, things like that. Um, they'll go out, fly, digest part of that food, and then anything that they can't digest, they regurgitate through this bolus. Uh, quite often, this is bones, shells, and the beaks of squids, one of their favorite foods. Now, when they have chicks during nesting season, they'll come back and they'll regurgitate that material that they've that they've eaten, not necessarily digested. So it includes all of this stuff that they can't normally digest. The problem is in today's age, a lot of the stuff that they're eating is trash, is plastics. And uh, they look for shiny objects typically at night and that includes plastics and metals floating on the surface. Um, this isn't a terrible thing because they can just regurgitate, regurgitate it. The problem is the chicks uh, cannot create a bolus and regurgitate it until they're about four months old. So if the parents are feeding them this undigestible plastics for up to four months and they can't digest it, then they can fill their stomachs up with this material and then they die of starvation. So in this virtual lab today, we are going to be looking at a and dissecting a bolus virtually. So I'm going to show you some pictures and some videos please pause this video on certain uh, slides and pictures so that you can gather the data that you need to answer all the questions. There is a lab write-up for this. Uh, for me, for my students, it's found in Google Classroom, but also you can follow uh, below the video here for a link to the assignment. So here we go. So uh, obviously this is an example of a chick and an adult. So here is a bolus being torn apart. And already you can see some greenish bluish uh, strings of plastic, some sort of polymer, something man-made. All right, so we separate some of the material that's been found so far. In case you're wondering what these are right here, these are uh, the beaks from squids. Looks like this right here might even be a piece of pumice, volcanic rock that actually floats uh, on the water. All right, now I'm going to show you some images. So I'll uh, just kind of stop for about 10 seconds on each one of these. So the information in these slides here, you'll need to use to uh, as data in for your lab write-up. Okay, remember this is metric, centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters, this is inches. We're using this side of the ruler.
These are all beaks from squids. Each squid has two pieces, two parts to their beak. In case you can't tell, uh, there on the scale it's measuring in grams. And this is the last image. So um, this is the information you need to properly answer all the questions in the lab handout. Good luck.